everyone, I'm Isha and I'm going to be narrating the story, The Smartest Giant in Town. So let's start with the story. There was once the scrappiest giant in town named George. He always wished he had some clothes to change into and was a bit more cleaner. But one day, hope glimmered into George's eyes. There was a brand new shop which was selling giant-sized clothes. He rushed into the shop and got some nice, smart clothes. When he got out of the shop, he started singing a song called The Smartest Giant in Town. But a few minutes later, he saw a giraffe shivering in the cold. He asked, what's the matter? The giraffe said, it's so cold. I wish I had a warm scarf to wrap my long, long neck. I feel so cold. But the giant was kind-hearted and lent the giraffe his tie. He said, my tie is nice and warm. I think you'll feel a bit warmer after this. And the giraffe was a bit warmer. Next, he met a goat. He was bleating in agony because the sail of his magnificent boat had blown off in a raging storm. But George said, why not have my shirt? It's a strong shirt too, so I think your ship will be as good as new. So next, he met another little friend, but this time, friends. It was a mournful lot of mice. Again, George asked, what's the matter, little mice? I don't want to see you so sad. They said, our house, our house, it has burned by a raging fire. We feel so sad because we've got nowhere to live. But George said, why not have my shoe? It's a comfortable home, so I think you'll have somewhere to live. But this time, more comfortable. And that was true. But he met more friends after that. There was a fox warm he lent his socks to. And the dog, one he happily lent his bell. He started singing his song, The Smartest Giant in Town. He said, My tie is led to a giraffe who is cold from the wind. My shirt to a goat. My shoe to a man, to mice. And my, and my sock to a fox. And my bell to a dog. But my trousers are falling off! That moment, George felt like the coldest giant in town. Oh, poor George. He scampered back to the shop. But there was a great shock in store for him. The shop was closed! Oh no! George sat out of the sat out and started weeping. But beside him, there was a bag. He wondered what could be in there. Was there some nice warm clothes for him? Or even his own clothes? That would be so nice. And in there were his own clothes, his gown and his sandals. Yippee! And dressed into them immediately. In that moment, he felt like the comfiest giant in town. So he started for, for home immediately. But outside his front door was all his new friends. And with them was a big present. He looked inside and saw a beautiful golden paper crown and a card. And when he opened it, he couldn't believe his eyes. Inside was his old rhyme, which he once so proudly sang. So this story portrays a moral of true friendship and kindness. By giving something George had, he earned a lot of true friendship. The end. Thank you. Bye.